there's this big game going on and they don't know the rules of the game and most people don't even know that there's a game going you know game being played um, people that are trading or investing and not successful maybe they're losing maybe they're not losing but not making any money um, the reason is because they're thinking and trading like an, like a like a retail trader you need to stop you know get out of that world and start thinking and trading like an institution and uh, coming from the trading floor of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange you see that both groups actually do the opposite you know when when institutions are aggressively buying retails aggressively selling and and, and vice versa I mean the, the way you make money buying anything you, you buy at wholesale prices and sell at retail prices. That's what an institution does, that's what we do. Identifying specifically on a price chart where institutions are buying and selling. Institutional demand, institutional supply. We don't want confirmation. When price is down into a level where we determine banks and institutions are buying, we want to buy it right there. If we wait for confirmation or reversal or any lagging indicator or oscillator, all we're doing is increasing risk and decreasing reward. You know, Goldman Sachs doesn't say, uh, you know, wait, don't buy yet. Wait for prices to rally a little bit and then buy. You know, they, they don't do that. Just a different mindset, I guess, that you got to have. It's a different people that, that uh, they want that confirmation. They're willing to increase the risk and decrease the reward for that confirmation, which, you, which doesn't give any more guarantee that prices are going to continue in that direction anyway, uh, even waiting for that. In fact, there's less likelihood that they're going to continue. Sam, thanks for your time. Thanks.